So good morning, it's quarter past six and I've just woken up ready to start the day. I'm slightly nervous about today because yesterday was super busy. Um, so we'll have to see what the day ahead holds. But um, I kind of figure if Kevin Simfield can do seven marathons uh, for Rob Burroughs, then uh, I can go to work. <laughs> so good morning. So first task today is dog walking, which I absolutely love, but it is really cold this morning. Um, so I'm going to have to walk really quickly. Um, but I love coming out first thing in the morning. I don't know if you can hear all the birds behind me, but listening to the birds tweeting, breathing in some fresh air uh, before seeing what the day ahead holds. So I'm back from my dog walk now. It's 6.50. Um, a bit of colour in my cheeks and I've had some nice fresh air. Um, I think this is the, the sort of calm before the storm. So I'm just about to open the door and see what I'm faced with, which is probably going to be a mixture of, uh, Mom, have we got any jam left? Mom, I can't find my school tie. Have you seen my French book? Uh, and if I'm really unlucky, there'll be a bit of last minute homework to do. So wish me luck as I step back inside. And I've walked back inside and I'm not joking. The first thing that was shouted at me, Mom, have you seen my pee top? The day can only get better. We're on 7.30 now, so I've got five minutes to make my 7.35 deadline to be in the car and drop the children at the bus stop. I haven't had to shout too much this morning. Um, things are going okay. And um, so I'll just grab my breakfast and I'll be on my way. Five minutes probably was a bit ambitious to be in the car and ready to go. Um, so I've got my breakfast with me, um, embarrassed child beside me, and we are off. I've arrived at work now and it's 7.57, so mission accomplished. I'm here before eight o'clock except it's not mission accomplished because this is just the beginning. So I'm gonna head inside now and see how things are going. Just get my mask. Just been to say good morning to our fabulous reception team and to see how they're set up for the day. Uh, I've knocked Christina's coffee all over her desk. So just back in the kitchen to make Christina a coffee to help her through the morning. Okay, so we are 40 minutes into the day. So far we've had 336 calls in, of which we've managed to answer 240 just because the call volume is so high this morning. Uh, the team really are doing their best, so uh, if you need yeah. to ring your GP practice, um, then please do be kind. Uh, we are doing our best. Down in reception now, so it's a hive of activity down here. I've got Jackie behind me uh, going through our e-consultations. Uh, yesterday we had over 2,000 calls into the practice, which for 14,000 patients is a, is a big number. Um, so please look after our staff and, and be really kind to them. 8.30 now and I'm up in my room. I'm logging into my computer, hoping that the technology works for me today. I'll be mainly working on the phones, calling patients. Um, I'll also be looking at blood results, uh, looking at letters that have come in from the hospital, looking at any contacts we've had from patients through emails. Um, I've also got the healthcare professional phone, which is the mobile that I'll carry with me today uh, in case any other healthcare professionals need to contact me urgently. So I'll check in with you throughout the day and let you know how it's going. First things first, change into my scrubs, which have become standard uniform for primary care in these COVID times. First thing I'll do when I log onto the computer is look at all the electronic prescriptions that are sitting there waiting to go to the chemist. I like to get those sent off first thing so that the pharmacy can get on with their job and get on with dispensing those for patients. Now that I've logged onto the computer, I like to do a little stock take and see uh, how, th how things are gonna work really and, and plan my day. So I can see that I've got 11 results waiting from the hospital. So that's blood results or um, X-ray scan results that have come back. So I'll have to look at those and file them. Uh, I've got 25 letters. Again, they're coming mainly from the hospital or the mental health trust or the community trust um, to give me information about patients, which I'll need to action. Um, I've got 38 phone calls, um, so that's people waiting to ring and right on cue the phone is ringing. Um, and I've got 25 tasks to go through, um, which will be prescriptions or calling patients. So I'll take this call. I don't know where the time has gone this morning. It's now half past 11. Uh, I'm gonna go grab myself a quick cup of tea. I've um, got through loads of calls this morning, spoken to lots of patients. Um, hopefully sorted lots of problems out. Also, the healthcare professional line's been going uh, with calls from the hospitals um, asking us to book patients in for review um, or sorting out medications. So it's been a busy morning, still lots to do. Um, I've got um, 23 people um, that are still waiting for a phone call back today. I'm the GP on call. So let's see how the day continues on. 
So it's quarter past 12 now. I've got my much needed cup of tea. Um, so I've got some caffeine on board. Um, I was intending to go earlier, but the phone kept ringing and I had queries coming through uh, via screen messages. So it got a bit delayed. Um, so I've been, I've said, uh, good morning and hello and now a good afternoon to the team see how everyone's getting on uh, it can get a bit lonely just being in a room by ourselves so it's nice to just have that bit of um, distanced interaction and just pop my head around people's doors so um, okay phone's ringing again see you soon the time is now 20 to 2 so uh, I feel a little bit like I'm wading through treacle as fast as I'm dealing with issues more issues are coming in for me to deal with I um, haven't done any of my admin as yet, still getting through telephone calls and booking people in for later on in the day that I want to see face to face. Um, so I'm going to go grab some lunch now. I think it might be a pickled onion monster munch type of a day. Um, so I'll uh, check back in with you later. So I'm back from the shop now, armed with my pickled onion monster munch. Um, I'm going to head back to my room. What I tend to do is look through my letters now and try and do some of my admin work, gain some efficiencies of doing two things at once so I'll crack on with my admin. I'm just coming up to four o'clock, it's fair to say I'm feeling a little bit jaded. Uh, I've been sat here quite a long time now. Um, it feels like as soon as I'm getting through patients, more are being added. Um, I'm trying to fit in everybody if I can. If there's urgent things that are coming in, um, then, then I'm trying to deal with them. I've still got uh, 12 people to phone on my list, um, so 60 appointments so far. Um, so I, all I can do is just keep going um, and just taking one patient at a time. And as if by magic, one of our lovely reception team must have been listening They brought me a lovely, nice, strong builder's brew in my favourite mug. Um, thank you very much, Elaine. That is very much appreciated. Um, so I'll have to find another, another excuse to stretch my legs. The time now is quarter past five. I'm going to move on and see my face-to-face -face patients now. So these are patients that I've spoken to earlier in the day who I need to bring down, uh, mainly to examine them. Um, so I've got a few patients to see uh, and then I will um, hopefully have a chance then to get on with my admin. Uh, so we're on the home stretch now. Just coming up to six o'clock now. So I've finished seeing my patients that I was seeing face-to-face. Um, I now have, so I've done some blood results, but I've got 12 now, uh, which is an increase on the 11 that I had this morning, which I have filed, but so I've got 12 more. Um, I've got 14 letters to have a look at. I've got 23 tasks. Um, so I'll get cracking with those um, and uh, get through those as quickly as I can. Six o'clock now, so the phones have stopped ringing, uh, which is always a bit of a light relief, but we're still here and working. So uh, here's Dr. Clements. She is still in her room working, doing her admin. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little challenge Annika run around the building. Um, my, one of my other colleagues, Dr. Winder, uh, who is also still working. So uh, we've still got our admin to get through, uh, even though the phones have stopped ringing. Uh, reception staff are just uh, finishing doing what they're doing um, and soon we'll be able to leave and go home. The time now is 6.40. Uh, I am done. <laughs> so uh, I'm back in my own clothes. Um, I am ready to leave. I'm going to go and get in the car and put some nice loud music on and relax on my way home. Back in the car then, ready to go home. So we're on quarter to seven now. Uh, I'm thinking orange lights on for the petrol can I get home without having to go to the petrol station uh, and need to sort my tire out which is not an ideal end of the day um, but there it is it's seven o'clock and I've just arrived home I'm absolutely worn out after my day at work um, listening to Sister Sledge We Are Family which just was made me really think you know the the team the practice really is a family um, and we all help each other out and that's what helps us get through days like today so um, colleagues asking you if you're okay taking some work from you bringing you a cup of tea um, is all brilliant and and what makes it a great team to work for so please be kind to our staff when you come in uh, you know we might not have your prescription ready when you need it and your sick note might be a bit delayed but we're all working really really hard to try and get those things to you in a 
you know, in a timely manner and when you need them. But we are working under the pressures um, that we face at the moment and we're just doing our best for you. So I hope you've enjoyed an insight into day in the life of the GP um, and thank you for watching.